Hey guys, I'm Dwayne Soap here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about iOS 14. iOS 14 features just continue to leak. I've never seen so much information before a major software release from Apple. And of course, we can expect the first beta here in June in the upcoming two months coming up here. And uh, boy, there's been a lot, a lot that's been leaked over the past several weeks. If you haven't catched my video where I talk about everything we knew so far about iOS 14, I'll link that down below. There's two things I want to talk about today. I also want to talk about device support because there's there's been just a lot of back and forth of which devices will be supported. I have some information that I think will be a good news for a lot of users. Now, this is sort of Apple playing catch up with other messaging service. So WhatsApp does this already and other messaging service like Skype will do this as well, where you can customize your messages application to have a wallpaper in the background. So this is a new feature that could be coming to iOS 14, maybe not on the first beta, but Apple will most likely add this feature. And again, this is something that's available on other platforms, but it's nice to see that Apple is actually adding this feature to iOS 14. I kind of like it. This is just a quick representation that I put together, but I think it'll be cool to see this coming to iOS 14. So we have Siri shortcuts and with Siri shortcuts, you can do a whole lot, but think about Siri shortcuts with applications. So Apple is rumored to be bringing quick actions to apps uh, something like, let's say, for example, you go into the App Store and you search for the weather. You don't necessarily have to download the application to view the radar for the weather application. So let's go here and look for the weather channel, weather channel application in the App Store. You don't want to download it to your phone, but you want to see the radar for your particular location. You can 3D touch, let's say 3D touch or tap on the radar option, a shortcut that'll show you the radar, see with the rain and everything like that. And then you can just leave the App Store and you don't have to download the app. So it's sort of like a quick action shortcut for applications. So Apple is set to be working on something like this for iOS 14 and that's just an example. Uh, Android has been doing this for quite some time. It's called Slice where you can view certain things from apps without downloading the apps. If you want to download the app, of course you can but this would be actually very cool to save storage on your iPhone as well. And one thing I also want to talk about is device support because with iOS 14, I personally thought that Apple may not support the iPhone SE first generation, iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, but the verifier is now saying that these devices will most likely add one more year of support. If Apple does this, I'll be very, very happy. As I mentioned before, I hope I'm wrong, uh, but I continue to say that I don't think Apple will support these devices, but if they do, that'd be great. So we'll have to wait and see here shortly. But yes, iOS 14 leaks continue to happen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you real soon. Peace.